Today I'm going to be renovating my subscriber's coastal house in Bloxburg. So this is Autumn, she has all the game passes and her current budget is 131000 And this is her coastal beach house. Also if you want a chance for me to renovate your Bloxburg house, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment your Roblox username on this video. So that being said, let's have a look at her house. Okay so here's what the outside looks like so far and oh my gosh she's wearing my merch. I love her. Okay let's have a look inside shall we? So coming in. Oh okay wait this is so nice. Girl, you didn't even need me to renovate it. Like, what? On these benches, you can actually sit on them. That is so cool. Oh my god, is this a speed build? No, it's not. Oh my god, she talented or whatever. Okay. Okay, so I'd say this is like her entry area. What's back here? This is, oh, her kitchen. <laughs> Very interesting kitchen. Oh wow, I love the dining table. Okay, and then coming back here, what's this? Okay, this is her bathroom. She just has one single toilet. Okay, and then what's over here? Oh, oh okay, so she's got like two Two doors leading into the kitchen. These stairs are actually so cute. Okay, this is bedroom number one. We just have a single bed on the floor. And then over here, okay, this is bedroom number two. Very simple. Over here is bedroom number three. Okay. Okay, is there any rules before I start building? Because I don't want to like do something that she's not going to like. Nope. Okay, no rules. I can go buck nutty. But she does want me to stick to a coastal theme. So that's what we're going to stick to. Okay, so here's what the exterior of her house looks like. There's not like much structure but it's really nice as you can see i might fix up the windows for her maybe add like a little bit more oomph out here and maybe just change this front bit as well i love the trees though they're custom made trees that is so cool okay well we're definitely keeping these trees i'm just gonna move them out here in the meantime okay so we have to remember she's only got 129,000, so we have to be very cautious with our budget so i'm thinking we're just gonna get rid of these fences altogether. also her house is different than other people's because like the front bit is actually on the side which is kind of confusing okay so before i add the front yard i actually want to change a few things about the exterior for example even though i love horizontal planks i think for the outside we might go with vertical planks okay yeah vertical planks look so much better now we just have to go ahead and change a few windows in that so i love these windows i might just change the color to like blue so it's more of like a beachy vibe i feel like we need more windows down here so i think i'm gonna stick to traditional windows but i love what she done up here with the large horizontal windows and then to give this house a little bit more flavor we'll just add wall trims i wonder if she's gonna work because i told you guys whenever I renovate your houses you have access to my workstation which is over here and none of you guys use it so we'll see if she uses it this time okay now as much as I love these windows up here I think I might change it also this wall is like very flat I might even just extend this wall just by one just so the house has a little bit more depth to it and then we'll just add another gable roof on this section I feel so bad getting rid of her windows I don't know why I just feel like she worked really hard on them. I don't know. I feel like she's going to like it. And if she doesn't like it, then I'll cry. It's so nerve wracking renovating your houses because I'm like, oh, I really hope they like it. But yeah, coastal houses, they have lots of light. So that's why I'm adding plenty of windows. Okay, we can knock this wall down because we're extending the kitchen. And we can also knock down this wall. <gasps> She just increased my budget to 150. It's fine. I don't think we're going to run out of a budget because it's okay. If we run out of a budget, I'll increase the budget with my own money. So there's no problem there. Okay. I really, really love her windows, but I just, I need to get rid of them. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Autumn. Don't hate me. Autumn is such a pretty name. Like I wish my name was Autumn. I'm just named after a state. Like what? So I really want to add these shutters on the inside as well. I don't know why, but a mixture between shutters and curtains actually looks super nice. Okay. So I'd say the walls and that are done now i just want to add a few gardens in here because i mean it is a coastal house <gasps> autumn she's not using the workstation one of these days you guys will use my workstation okay now i'm just gonna put plain markings on this footpath and that way it kind of creates like these stepping stones i know you can see me <laughs> guys she knows i can see her she's getting her daily steps in these trees are so pretty they're also really expensive <laughs> like if i were to copy this tree it cost three thousand four hundred dollars okay we've got 150 55,000 left so I'd say we're going pretty well for a budget actually I just thought of something really cute I'm scared because she's watching me and if it doesn't work then <laughs> it's gonna be awkward what if I make this like a little pond and then finally landscape lights on the walkway so she can actually see where she's going and she doesn't fall into the pool because we don't want that do we oh I just realized she has advanced placement so I might put a little bit more structure on the roof okay there we go and I think the outside's looking cute okay so now we can work on the inside now the first thing I want to 
do is knock down this wall so it's more open. So hi. And as you can see, it opens up the room so much more. However, I am going to keep this little section because she worked pretty hard on that. Don't want to mess it up. I'm also going to keep the floor because it looks like she's layered it a few times. And I think the entry area is also done, I'm pretty sure. There's like a random wall here. So I'm just going to knock that down. That way it's just like much more open in here. And for the wall texture, I'm actually going to use the same wall texture from the outside. And look at all this overhead lighting. I am scared. <laughs> Okay, it's very spooky in here now. Okay, now instead of having a massive wall here that blocks up the space, we're just gonna have two little walls like this and then a plain arch in the middle. And there we go, I feel like that looks heaps better. <laughs> Look, I can still see her, what is she doing? <laughs> okay, so she's got layered flooring. I think she laid it like three times. So once I place the floor, I'm gonna have to place it again, just three more times. <laughs> it went the wrong way, are you kidding me? The good thing is her entry area is pretty much finished. So I don't really have to like muck around too much with that like i think she has everything she needs you know what she does need in here though get rid of this window because we are adding my iconic hook rack <laughs> there we go that's a little bit better she might need a bench as well like to sit down while she changes her shoes so we can place like an industrial bench over here actually you know what coastal houses have they have lots of photos so we're definitely going to implement lots of decals because i have like a bunch of beachy decals saved on my phone so i have came prepared okay i might get rid of this plant though by later okay i kind of get why she put a wall here um because it is kind of like an awkward space so all i'm gonna do to fix that is just place the stairs like over on this corner which means we also have to change the bench over here and we're just gonna cover up this wall <laughs> the last thing we're gonna add is a few more plants so now we can start working back here so back here is going to be the kitchen dining room and living room so <laughs> we're definitely gonna have to utilize our space a little bit more efficiently i do want a fireplace in here though so i don't know where to put that i guess the living room can go over in this corner and then we'll just give her a TV on the fireplace. I think we might use a round carpet this time. And for the lounge, we're going to use a deck chair and a wicker chair. And then to make this a little bit more detailed, we'll just add blankets and pillows. Okay, living room's looking cute. Now we just need a coffee table. And for the coffee table, we're just gonna use a square basic shape. Does she have any flowers in her inventory? Oh, <gasps> she does, yay. Oh, and she also has a giant seashell. We'll definitely put that like above the fireplace. <gasps> Why is that so bright? Yeah, I could not see anything just then. I feel like these little sphere chandeliers aren't too bright. Okay, living room is actually looking so cute. So now we can kind of work like on the kitchen and the dining table. It's gonna be a very small kitchen. I didn't think about this. We might actually have a round coffee table so it doesn't take up much room. So we can like have that in the corner like that. And then we'll just set the table with some plates. Oh, we also need a placemat. I like never use placemats anymore. Okay, and then for the chairs, we're gonna give her the most fancy chair. I have to remember that we're on a budget. We can't go crazy with our money because we only got 135,000 left okay now for the fun bit which is adding the kitchen we really don't have that much room to work with but that's my fault it'll still look good though so that's all that matters i actually love doing coastal houses they're like my favorite house to do because lately i don't know why but i've been obsessed with coastal interiors so, so when one of you guys asked me to do a coastal themed renovation i was just jumping with joy i'm like yes my time has come oh wait y'all i just realized i didn't even add an oven okay we can add it right here which is four thousand dollars she's gonna be like girl where is all my money going you know what i just realized you guys have a lot of trust in me you give me full access to your house and money lots of trust oh and of course we need a lemon bowl okay we need her little mug collection I feel like everyone needs a mug collection you know actually i might just change the texture of these counters because i feel like the white is a little bit overpowering right now okay there we go we've got our kitchen all complete and now we have the room back here which is the bathroom now i already know exactly what i want to do in here we're gonna use rectangular tiles in like a blue. I love how she just has one toilet in here. Such a detailed toilet. Should we just keep the toilet? You know what? We're gonna keep the toilet for nostalgic purposes. So I just put the toilet paper above her head. Is that even a thing? And the bathtub can fit nice and snuck in this corner. And then we can just add another wall here. And then of course her shower above her bath. Oh, okay. Never mind. That shower is a thousand dollars and we've only got 121,000 left. So we're gonna use the basic shower today. Okay, so she's got her different colors towels this section of the bathroom is looking so cute we just need an inset so she can store all her stuff okay so she's got her shampoo and her plant so now finally we just have to add the vanity table yeah we have to be careful with our budget because i'm looking down we're nearly reaching a hundred thousand dollars okay i think that's everything in the bathroom we still have like a massive empty space in this corner so what if we have a day bed in here i know that's like so random why not we're gonna have one okay and i think that is the bathroom all finished which means now we can work on the upstairs area okay so as you 
you can see, the floor plan's a little bit messed up, so I'm just gonna get rid of kind of all the walls, sorry. This can kind of be like an upstairs lounge room, and then these can be the two bedrooms. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just gonna knock down these walls, and then I'm gonna cut these two bedrooms up in half. So we've got bedroom number two, and then bedroom number one. But the first room I wanna work on is the upstairs living room. So I'm actually gonna copy this fireplace from downstairs. We're not gonna have a TV, actually. We're gonna have a fancy painting, spice it up a little bit. And for the lounges, we can use a traditional sofa. And you know what? A rocking chair. Okay, now beachy houses, they usually stick to like the white and blue color palette, but they also stick to lots of beiges. And of course, we need lots of pillows. I actually love doing pillows because you can literally go into material, close your eyes, scroll down, and pick a random... Okay, never mind. That didn't work. <laughs> I was going to say you can scroll down, pick a random material, and it'll look good. And I landed on colorful cubes. Wow, I see how it is. Oh, you know what would look nice up here? Pillars near the railing. Oh, Autumn said, I suggest that everyone should join your group and if they have Robux, I suggest them buying merch. It's super cozy, warm, and it's not super bright too. <gasps> Oh, you are so sweet. Autumn is a blessing to society. Okay, last thing we need is a coffee table. And I think I'm just going to copy this one from downstairs. Okay, so we need a nice like chandelier up here. So I think I'm just going to put this antique chandelier. Also, the good thing with the color palette is if the lighting's too bright, you can go on the color wheel and then kind of like go down and adjust the lighting. Okay, for example, if I wanted linen, but linen was too bright, I just go on the color palette and make it darker. Like how cool is that? And then we have a little space over in this corner. So what I'm thinking of doing is having like a little artist corner so she can have a paint stand a few paint buckets and then just like a stool for her to sit down on like, tell me that isn't the cutest thing ever okay so the upstairs lounge room's done so now we just have to work on the two last bedrooms i actually love renovating your guys's bedrooms this is her bedroom currently she just has one single sleeping bag on the floor. Oh, babes, we, we gotta get rid of that. For this wall, I'm actually thinking of making it custom. So we're gonna put four wall paintings at the back here and just fingers crossed, hopefully we will not run out of a budget. And for the carpet, I really love this carpet she made. So I'm gonna add it again. And then this wall back here is going to be her closet. So for the closet, I want this relatively simple. So I'm just gonna put a industrial coat rack. Oh, never mind. She just updated her budget. I feel like we also need to give her some slippers. And there we go. That's literally literally it for the closet. I'm just going to put a wall here and then a window in front of it. And that's it. She's got a very cute closet. Okay, as for her bed, I'm thinking this traditional double bed because lots of beachy themed homes have this panel and we're going to make this the most luxurious bed you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is add a neatly tucked blanket and then I'm going to put another messy long blanket at the end. There's going to be lots of layers to this bed. Now for the fun bit, which is pillows. pillows. Also, one thing that I've noticed is that when I build for you guys, I never build that well for myself. I don't know why. Okay, and there's her bed. Oh my gosh, that bed actually looks so comfy. I'm just gonna give her like fancy end tables. And voila, she has this section all done. Now we've got another little section over here, so I'm just gonna add a little desk. Actually, we're gonna make this into like a corner desk, so if I put a fancy desk on this wall and then put another one on this wall, as you can see, it kind of creates a corner desk, which is pretty cool. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna add is a chandelier, and that is her master bedroom all finished, and we're actually going really well because we've got 95000 dollars left and we've still got one more bedroom so like we're definitely going to be able to finish it why does she just still have one sleeping bag like get out of here okay so this bedroom is going to be a two-person bedroom meaning we're going to have two beds in here instead of one so we're gonna add two of these curved single beds all right beds are looking pretty cute and you know what i guess these two beds can share a bedside table wait these beds look so cute okay we do need clothes however i think i'm just gonna put a wardrobe back on this corner obviously that won't be enough because there's two Two people in here so then i'll add another dresser and then finally the last thing is another desk and i'm just gonna copy this corner desk that i done in this room okay so i think that's the house done we've got eighty-one thousand left so what i'm going to do is just add like a few finishing touches here and there for example i was scared to use potted hanging vines because i was afraid we were going to run out of a budget but i don't know i think we're going well okay and i think that is the house all finished okay so i just finished the decals so let's invite her back to the house so all good are you ready to go inside? I'm nervous. What if she doesn't like it? So here's how the exterior turned out. I think it turned out like really nicely. Okay, don't ask what's going on with this roof. Just shh, ignore it. I really like the whole lake at the front. I think that was definitely needed because it was like a beach house. Hey, after you, you can go in. Okay, so here is how the entry area turned out. I kept it relatively similar to like what she had before. So nothing too crazy. The only difference is like this back bit here. Whoa, she approves. Okay, I think she likes it. 
it guys. I was scared she wasn't gonna like it. So yeah, this is kind of like the lounge room, dining room and kitchen. And then back here we have the bathroom. Okay, good, she likes it, I think. I like how the bath is kind of tucked away in this corner here. Oh, well, that's so pretty. Oh, is she talking about the bathtub? Because I agree, look how pretty this bathtub is. So yeah, vanity table. We've also got like a little sitting area over here. Okay, so that was the first floor. So let's head on into the second floor, shall we? Oh my gosh, she's funny. Okay, let's come upstairs. Did I forget anything? Hopefully not. I'm kind of scared. You're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. She isn't saying anything. August, does she approve? <laughs> Another lounge. Hashtag. Oh my gosh, a thousand out of ten. Okay, cool. Okay, that's good. She approves of the second lounge room. Here's her little painting area where she wants to paint the beach, even though there's not really a beach out here. Okay, we'll leave her bedroom to last. So let's head on in here. So this is just the guest bedroom. A very mysterious entrance. Very cute. Okay, she likes it, I think. Very cute and money consuming. Money consuming pillows. <laughs> Not my money. Yeah, this is actually pretty expensive. Um, This bedroom actually turned out nice though. Oh, how much is the plot? I should probably ask her. The plot worth is, drum roll please. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh, 160,000. Okay. I mean, expensive, but not bad. I'm really nervous about her bedroom because like she has to like her bedroom. <laughs> so here is her bedroom. Oh no, tight space. Oh my gosh, guys, I have to fix the door. Look at this. That is embarrassing. Very beautiful. Okay, she thinks the bedroom's beautiful. It's very sweet. So yeah, here's her bedroom. I forgot to change the wallpaper back here, but I don't think she's noticed. So yeah, here's her corner desk and her closet. I have like 15 pillows on my bed. What did you expect? It's me. I always always add lots of pillows. Slippers. Yes, yeah, see, I told you she would like her slippers. An alarm so I can wake up on time for church, period. Okay, well, 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 August, do we approve? What should I be like? No, I hate it. Who's August? Wait, is your name not August? <laughs> Oh my god. I've been calling her August. Yeah, I just called her August instead of autumn. That is just... So that was me renovating my subscriber. Actually, I'm not even going to call her my subscriber. I'm going to call her my friend. She's my friend now. I love August. So yeah, that was me renovating August's coastal house in Bloxburg. I absolutely adore the way it turned out, even though I didn't even think she needed my help because she was already an incredible builder. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.